On this quiet Friday night in Athens, so many thousands away for Saturday's Georgia-Florida football game, Vince Dooley in Dooley Plaza on campus, forever triumphant, celebrating his 1980 national championship. Coach forever alive in Daniel DeWitt's heart. I wanted to honor his memory. Daniel DeWitt sending prayers and leaving flowers, remembering the impact Coach had on him just because he once asked for Dooley's autograph. And asked me what my name was and said, thank you for being a dog and thank you for actually caring about me. I. Um, was honored. He impacted multiple people's lives. Dylan Gresham and Jalen Thomas, young Athens residents who grew up revering Coach Dooley. When he came here, he just brought a whole different vibe to the whole team. Everybody he gave everybody spirit, hope. He was a big inspiration to a lot of the city, and I feel like this is just like it's a very upsetting thing that's going to that happen because of what all he stood for and meant. Dooley quietly working to support the city of Athens throughout his retirement. Athens resident Francesca Ferguson. It's on up there with Larry Munson, community service. Him and his family, they've poured their heart into the community, so that really saddens me that, you know, he's not with us anymore. Just being able to meet a legacy, uh, a, a great legendary coach like Vince Dooley, and there will not be any other one here at the University of Georgia that will live up to what Vince Dooley did forever etched in stone as one of the greatest in Georgia football. In Athens, John Shirick, 11 Alive News.